Welcome back to NG. The Urashima woman file has been updated. We broke into Yamato Shrine. Through the rock. Nothing happened. Dragon and Snake Water Gods. Save child birth blanket. Dragon and Snake. Tatsumi. Huh. Tomorrow our idol... Sec Tomorrow's security guards are idol fans, so we'll be able to distract them better. And we'll be able to really give this place a thorough searching. So finally, let's get into things. And we're finally in August. The leaves are starting to change. Summer's yes. almost over. It's almost time to meet up. Oh, someone's at the door. Mm, yellow. <gasps> Whoa! What's up, girl? It's it's Momo Kurusei. I remember her from the naked picture. <laughs> I remember you from the internet. You know, it's kind of bad that we know her better for her body than her music, but uh, whatever. Uh, uh, welcome to idol you know, culture. The, 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 uh, the occult ends. It's, it's gross. <laughs> it's good, how are you? I, I mean... <clears throat> yes, uh... Police? <laughs> yes, I got a strange character in front of my door. I, 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 I'm feeling threatened. <laughs> I can actually see you dialing up 911. HELP! Somebody hires AKB48 to appear in my house, all of them, one by one, and I'm just like, ah, God, please, no! Leave me alone! <laughs> they come for a meet and greet for you, not the opposite. <laughs> no, please! No! A revelation! Oh, she's cosplaying. I wait, I was right. I knew that was what she was going to do. Now hold on, we need to make sure this is authentic. Get in the pinup pose. So Kato Hazuki is oh my God. Momo Kurusei. Oh my She's more than just God. a Momo lure. She is Momo what? Kurusei. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my God. I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I, eh, oh, pretty there surprise. we go. Eh, nah, whatever. Actually, that's a legit surprise. That was pretty good. I'm surprised that we figured it out so early. Like, you know, like, oh, maybe they're twin sisters or whatever, or maybe we'll find on, like, the fourth chapter. That, yeah. like, what? Nope, it's like, oh, nope. I'm, I'm, I'm actually her. I am, I'm really the girl. I got the best of both worlds. <laughs> and I came in like a wrecking ball. Oh, thank God. We finally have a, a main character as an idol, and you're playing it. This is just, mm, this is good. Yeah. <sighs> See, idols aren't all bad. She has a separate personality where she's a normal girl that loves a cult. I like Hazuki better than Momo Kuruse because Hazuki is like the real person underneath, and Momo Kuruse is just an act she puts on. It's a character. Oh, and it's brilliant too because it's full millions from the sounds of it. Uh, uh, you know, I actually really like this background song. It's the ringtone, right? Yeah, it's, it's uh, her hit song, Wandering Rabbits. So, because Hazuki is the real Momo Kuruse, that means that we'll be able to distract this guard and get in with no problems whatsoever. Beautiful. Man, this is like wholesome and shit. <laughs> Give me the ghosts. Hmm. A vendetta against a vengeful ghost. Yeah, let me know how that pans out. Yeah. She canceled your outdoor tour. Uh-huh. A woman is dead. Hey! Gotta make People money. have died, and you care about your fucking little outdoor... No, 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 you, know. you gotta go see, for the green, man! See, that's the kind of shallowness that the idol culture breeds! Oh, stop it. 
dare! Yeah. And now you're going, oh, wait a minute, who do I insult? The idol or the person who is the... Uh, oh, no. <gasps> the tattoo is fake? And very adhesive? She peels off her own skin. <laughs> I am actually a reptilian. You know, that's too quick of a transformation. Are you secretly Clark Kent? Yeah, it's a wig instead of glasses, so. Oh my god, she is Hannah Montana if it's just a wig. She's her own fan. How sad. <laughs> she looks in the mirror and goes, I love you! That By the face. way, I'm here to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly the vibe that gave off there. Even the musical sting was in on it. <laughs> so anyway, I turned on the water and there was a whole bunch of hair and gunk and she's like, uh, yeah. But then I let the water run and it was clean. Uh-huh, right. Somebody must have been uh, huffing too much of that uh, lake water. <laughs> I wonder if you could convince an occult fanatic of something, like, really stupid being something of the occult. It's just like, oh, the, I have a fried egg in the pan, but the burner's not on. <laughs> oh, oh, that kind of mundane shit. It's like, I turned on the light switch, and then a light shined from the ceiling! Oh! The lights turned off by themselves! Don't look at the light bulb. Oh my god! I'm moving my legs, and somehow I am transported <laughs> to the other end of the room! Oh! I've managed to stay alive for more than 19 years because of... <sighs> breathing! And Hazuki's like, right, right, you're right. This is all, this is all mm -hmm. secretly occult. Mm -hmm. And then we get to explain nano machines to her, and it's just mm. a weird path we're going down. Nano machines, I don't know. And then you go, uh, haunted nano machines. <gasps> oh, of course. <gasps> Oh, Aww. This found is sad. Found missing posters, yeah. No. Eh, she'll be fine. I know she secretly blames us. That's why she's kind of avoiding us. <laughs> Again, I still love your portrait. Just having that really angered look, no matter what you're saying. Because everything pisses me off. I'm an angsty you. Especially uh, like normal things. It's like, no, we just got here. Come on, Ami. Let's go to the fucking park. Gah. <laughs> if your character actually says guh at any point, <laughs> we're going to He's have already issues. said guh. Ah, damn it. He's gonna say this go a lot when the curse starts. Well, alright. Mm hmm. <laughs> you hear giant stomps outside the bar. Oh, hi, guys. Get out of here, Sasquatch. We're looking for Bigfoot. Oh, well. Alright, see you later. What? Oh, wait, duh. Talking about her plan to turn into the real Momo Karuse. Charm the shit out of the guard, and then me and Seiji can hop the fence and take a peek around. I thought she was just meaning I'm gonna throw myself at the Urashima woman. <laughs> Consequences be damned. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see shit when I touch blood now. 
I read blood, Seiji. Isn't that fun? Check it out! Punch him in the face. <laughs> Ow, what the fuck? Touches his blood. And then, ah, I punched Ow. you in the face. <laughs> I get it now. Oh. See how that works? It's what I do, Seiji. I don't ever stop glaring. Sorry, I've got resting bitch face. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm wearing glasses because his regular portrait looks really dumb. Oh, really? Because it's a, like he's re he's really angry under those glasses <laughs> if you see his eyes. Yeah, I guess I never took a good look at the default face. Is it just, like, regular dude? Basically. So you're putting, like, what, a 17, 18-year-old in charge of the fights for the Yakuza? You're gonna need a lot of experience for that. Either he's really good for his age, or he's like, Okay, you skinny guy, you go ahead and take on, uh... King Hippo over there. Alright, pretty lady, run distraction. Hmm. Seiji, we're gonna need you to run lights because we're doing... A dance idol concert right here, right now. All right, here goes. Operation uh, Exploit Our Friends begins. <laughs> hey, what's up, dude? Yeah, unfortunate circumstances. The Momo Karuse concert's been cancelled! <laughs> yeah, well, he actually does mention it. Oh, and I guess the woman was found murdered here, but whatever. I, th I thought that said today's guard loves idiots. <laughs> See, that's your subconscious saying, eh? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I, I hate that I'm in this video. This ever becomes a live-action movie, that'd be your cameo role. If we have a chapter that deals with VTubers, I quit. Uh, nah, save that for AI, the Somnium Files. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm gonna have to play that one day. It's on backwards. <laughs> she can't see. Ah! <laughs> Hazuki, you're old. <laughs> see, she's so fake. Every time she sees it, she says the same words. Well, that's the catch. That's the catch. Yeah, that's how she lets your guard down. It's like, oh my god, my white-haired angel. This is the second time she said it. I've already like, uh, uh, okay, yeah, all right, yeah. See, I would love it if Seiji didn't buy it and he thought Hazuki just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when did you get here? Where did Hazuki that's go? A, that's the thing about Seiji. He never learned about object permanence. <laughs> she slowly like peels the tattoo like halfway off and he's like, <gasps> I think I recognize you. Wow, you're an idol! Can you put more padding into your top? <laughs> what? What's that? Album? Music? Uh, uh, whatever. I never heard of it. Die. Pretty lady. Hi, what are the odds that I'm here at this point in time? 
Uh, pretty good, because your, your concert got cancelled and all that, you're probably going to use your wiles to get inside the park. <laughs> I'm waiting for the spit take. <laughs> <laughs> Must be losing his shit! How does one lose one's own shit? It's like, well, it was in my ass, but I don't know where it went. Or maybe he considers, like, all the objects on his desk his shit, so he just, like, like took both of his arms and just swiped everything off his desk in shock. God, he's, he's behaving like a Tex Avery cartoon right now. It's like, oh, ah, ah, oh, Momo Karuse! Ah, oh! His eyes are popping out of his skull. He's pulling his tongue and his body's going <laughs> up like a... Like, uh, like blinds on a window. I'm expecting the eyeballs to go six feet. At one time he lets out a ha cha 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 cha. <laughs> and you know, I can imagine all of that is happening in his head, and then y you cut to his imagery in his head, and then you cut back to reality, and he's just like slack jawed a little bit, maybe a bit of drool, just going, uh. Sir? Sir? Sir. Um, uh, hello? Hello? Hi. Can I go But in? it's not working! What? Who'd have thought? <laughs> Drops on his hands and knees. See, it's a murder. I really can't let anybody in. Idle or not. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'll definitely find a ghost for you. <laughs> yeah. So, here's what just happened. One step forward, two steps back. Mm -hmm. One step forward, we found out that, that, that the center for the creepiness is probably on Ryugo Island in the center of Hiroshima Lake. Bad news is... Not only are we not getting in, but now he's going to be extra vigilant on his patrol when he's out. So that backfired the most colossal way. Hey, we still got some information out of it. No, but, but everything just got two, twice as hard for us. But the thing is, when he gets a call, he has to go into the back office. Which is going to give us enough time to, you know, ha, ha, ha. Jump that fence. Yeah. And we're fed the same bullshit of contact management and you can go in when everybody else can. Long after you're dead. God, what do I look like, a Karen? No, I'm not going to call management. Call me. Please, please. Yes! Yes! Hey, I just met you! Uh, this is crazy! <laughs> so, <laughs> so here's my number, and call me, please! <laughs> I love that face so much. <laughs> Fuck, I quit! <laughs> I've never met a fan before. First and last time. I'm gonna become a gallery artist. Fuck this. <laughs> wow, it's unfortunate that we have to put the pieces together that we got a number to call him at. That's what I'm gonna do when I meet celebrities. Like, hey, here's my number. Call me. We'll have a great time. I'll do it to every celebrity I meet, so that way there's a chance that one of them might call me back. I think the only way you would ever get away with that is if they're new to the area and just be like, hey, I know all the local hotspots. Just if you need to be like chauffeured around, I could even run security. If you need anything, just let me know. I would die for you. 
In fact, I've already written your name in my arm. See, I even used a knife, so it'd be permanent. <laughs> I will give my life for you. So here's my number. Call me when you want me to die. <laughs> I can just see one of the celebrities immediately going, Oh, serious? Okay. Well, dee -doo -dee -doo -dee -doo -dee. Yes, it's me. Hey, kill yourself. Okay. Do and then they're going to rush over to my house, and by the time they get here, I'll have coffee and biscuits. It's like, hey, glad you made it. Let's, uh, let's, let's uh, have a chat. Anyway. See, that's the thing about, like, super mega fans. If they just act like a normal person around the people they admire, they won't think of them as weird people. I tried that on Tom Cruise, and he came just to make sure I was dead. <laughs> ah. So. Now we're gonna figure out who to bring with us this time. I'm an Omeo Hazuki. It's pretty clear we got to bring Amanome with us because Hazuki's going to be busy okay. with the phone call to keep him distracted so we can get over the fence. Right? Right? Right. 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 Correct. Exactly. Absolutely. Precisely. Bully, my good man. Yes. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Affirmative. Does this change your ending, by the way? So, I guess I should take this time to talk about endings. Yeah, does it change depending on who you take? Uh, actually your progress is dependent on that, because you're probably going to hit a dead end that you can only go with another character, whether it's, I don't know what to do with this, or you die because you brought the wrong character. Mm -hmm. But, endings are changed about how you deal with the spirit, just like Deathmark. There is a way to purify the ghost and, uh, get, you know, find their grudge and resolve their spirit and end their suffering. Or you can just destroy them and then pass the curse on to your partner. Oh, really? Yeah. That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. So, you may live, but if you fuck up, your partner will die. Hmm... And this is why it said Amanome Hazuki Game of Death. Oh. Because unless if you do if you do everything correctly, someone's going to die. So how drastically does that change the story, or is it kinda like Deathmark where you just move on to a new topic? So, alright. If one partner dies in this one, then that means you've locked yourself out of the good ending and you're on your way to a normal ending. However, if another character dies then you're you're on your way to the bad ending. And if I think if uh, too many people die, then that's how you get your link to death mark. Oh. And I'll talk about more. I'll talk more about that later on in the let's play. Right now we got spooky stuff happening. The fountain just just a big one all over us. Oh! Hi. Look at that. Fascinating. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-oh. Uh-huh. What is it? Why does it look decrepit and a hundred years old? Why does it look... waterlogged? Why is the fetus from P.T. in it? Why is it telling me what a bad father I am? <laughs> Wait, why am I in a house that constantly loops? Ah! Oh, we'll get there. <laughs> anyway, here's our map. It's nice to see. It's just a big upside-down cross. You know, nothing creepy about that. <laughs> Ooh, it's in the wastebasket here. Digging in the trash to defeat the ghosts. Yeah, I love how yeah. he. I love how he says just in case. It's like, oh, the ghost might be in the garbage. I gotta go in this trash can, or I'll die. Uh, what? A towel cat. Huh? Uh, okay. 
Please don't tell me in order to defeat Urashima, you need to dry her off. It's a small cotton blanket for babies. Oh, it's a swaddling cloth. Gotcha. With a name. <laughs> oh! My god! Can you not? <clears throat> anyway, anyway, that's the kind that's the kind of goodness that you can expect from scary mode. You better uh, boost that audio, buddy, because that was pretty good. That's <laughs> uh, over here. Nothing over there. Guess we'll go down to the docks. So that's seriously the jump scares we're dealing with. Yeah, we got, we got some spooks. We got some scares. I put a warning at the beginning for a reason. Actually, you know what? That one was pr like it was drawn, ex like horrifying. So oh. that's pretty good. Hmm. Dirty necktie and a tie pin. Got to dig in this trash can too, or I'll die. Good thing he's wearing gloves. All the oh. time. Oh no, there's blood in his vomit! Uh, 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 hmm, I can read the vomit. You relive him having a hangover. Oh, God. Gross. There's a hair ornament in the boat. Hmm, uh oh. Blood. Yes. Read it. Read it. Time to show off our blood metry. Blood metry. It never sounds right to me. Bloodometry. See, that's what I keep thinking it is. Because you know, psychopathy. Like, there's not even an e between blood and metry, so it can't be bloodometry. Use your spooky blood powers! Uh, okay, Hazuki, thank you. Maybe it can be like a Jimmy Neutron bl brain blast, and we'll call it Blood Blast. <laughs> and then I see red and I pass out and die. Bloop. Holy fuck! This belonged to the college girl. Goodo. Something tells me those aren't babies in her stomach. Alright, so this is what we gotta deal with. God, it's so fucked up looking. That was awesome! Goodo! Goodo! Great! Abs absolutely. We gotta go up against that. Awesome! Cool. Great. Uh, alright. <clears throat> Not only is she real, but she's behind us! Well, hey, the more we fuck around in her sacred place, the more she's gonna notice us. So she's, she's close by. Hey, N-Double, do you hear impending doom in the background? think that she's watching us, seeing us snoop around all the time, so that way she's, you know, by the time we're about to finish her, she's like, hey, you're not gonna fucking kill me, I'm gonna kill you first! Dun 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 dun
Say, she's looking for her baby, it sounds like. I mean, yeah. Yeah, okay, sure. Go <laughs> the baby's following you, that's hilarious. Oh my god, for that, I don't want to relive that. Well, I could, I could just imagine the uh, the comparison between like that woman's death and the turtles, and <laughs> you find a turtle, you use blood imagery on it, and you just hear Michael Scott go, "Give me the turtle!" There's a yoga book for prenatal care, and there's a blood stain <laughs> on it. Are we going to have to? We're gonna have to perform like a ghost C section or something. Oh, she's here. Nope, we're, we're uh, touching the blessing on the yoga book. Which means this is more tied to the Urashima woman. I imagine we're sailing to the island now. She's underwater. Get back in the box, darling. Oh, that's fucked up. That's lovely. So, I'm guessing... Urashima woman was trapped in a fucking box and then thrown into the lake. To explain why she's drowned like that. Man, is this gonna be a sad story? <laughs> well, they all involve death. They're all sad stories. Oh, here she is. Oh, in the lake. Oh. Hello. Madam? Hi, Hi, Lady of the Lake. Am I worthy? I gotta oh. see they're just, just standing there stock still like, Hey. Uh. Don't point at me. Alright? Ahem. <clears throat> so. Uh. How you doing? You want to get caught? Water? Uh. Here, here's the high def picture if you want to be scared again. <laughs> and now she starts throwing turtles at you. Ow! <laughs> Nothing. D d uh, d no, yeah, I, I was just reading about prenatal care because I gotta learn it. For myself. Oh! What are we doing? Uh, uh we're searching? we're looking for someone. Oh, I would have died already. Y yeah, don't listen to him. We're looking for someone, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's all. We're not doing nothing bad. Just looking <laughs> you, for somebody. You hold up the stroller and say, "Who baby this?"
Oh boy. Um, <clears throat> uh, you know, aren't you pregnant? It's in your stomach, right? It's where most babies are when you're prego. Right? Right? Did I confuse her away? Um... How, how baby work? She goes like, Where is Bobby from? And then the ghost asked you about the birds and the bees. I'm pregnant. <laughs> well, Seiji, do you believe me about Ami being spirited away now? He does seem a bit more pale. Wow, the stroller is, uh, not as white as you are. Matter of fact, your shirt is brighter than you are. Or you're brighter than your shirt. Tell me why ain't got nothing to do with babies. I want to not die. You don't want to die, well, tell me why. I want to keep on living. Tell me why. I don't want to be murdered. Tell me why. Ain't ever gonna hear me say. I wanna die, babe. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. We'll be here all week. See ya. Yeah, and maybe the week after that, and the week yeah, after that, and at least until Halloween. Yeah, woo boy. Now we're going Spoons. away forever. We'll be spirited away. Poof. I first read that as Tamale Sanctum. I, okay, Ooh, I'm yummy. not the only one. Off to Tamale Sanctum. And you just go sailing on the boat. Da 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 Why is there a food truck on the middle of an island in the middle of the lake? Hang on, and double. It might be haunted. Da, it's fine. We only take pesos. Oh no. Okay, bye, stroller. Oh ho. Uh, hint. Uh, hint. This must be the college girl's boat. Off in the distance again, you hear. Da -da 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 -da. Oops, Butterfingers. <laughs> <laughs> this was always about betrayal and double. I'm sorry. Yeah, I wear white, so you do the dirty work. I thought he was just saying that so nobody could see his piss stains. I'm gonna wash your clothes with a red sock next time. Aw, oh, man, why is the Yakuza boy wearing pink? Then the brand music lieutenant goes, Don't you think it looks great, boys? Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, sir, yeah, boss, mm -hmm. yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Kazuma Kiryu comes in and goes, Wow, pink shirts, great idea. Wouldn't be the weirdest thing that <laughs> Q you seen.
one day Amanome comes in with like, you know, a busted nose and, you know, his, his jaw is like dislocated. It's like, oh my god, what happened to you? It's like, I had a fight with, uh, with the dragon of the, you know, don't worry about it. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, I got my ass kicked so hard I had to give him my mother's bronze plate. Now, I'm glad we both have knowledge of vastly different series that we can share with one another where one doesn't know what you're talking about. God, I need to play Yakuza. But the people who do know... Exactly. No. It's humor for them. So, all of that for an umbrella, if I saw that correctly. Yes. So right now we're uh, looking for oars, which we can use on a rental boat to make our way to the island. But the only place the oars are, are in this office to the right. Hmm. O or what? Or we don't get to go to the island. Or what? Oregon. Or what? Oriental. Or what? Or Astaya. Or what? Orson Welles. Or what? Or Obedience. Or what? Oranges. Or what? Oratorium. Or what? Orcupine. <laughs> Orator. <laughs> or beetle. Orbeez. <laughs> Eat fresh. <laughs> it's like the Swedish chef promoting Arby's. <laughs> Orbeez! <laughs> Dorp to door! Pop and lock! Pops had a gun. I took his gun. Now I got no pops. Because once you pop, the fun don't stop. If you move his bangs to the side, you get to see like an entire galaxy of teardrops tattoos. <laughs> My dad's such a prankster, he really shouldn't be the head of Yakuza. Let's see. Mm. I'll need the key. Mm. And I'll need... some grease for the key. I thought you said you were good at picking locks. With keys... And then you give him the key, and he's like, okay, I need total concentration. He puts on, like, you know, special glasses. You know, shakily, he takes the key and puts it gently up against the lock. Just careful. Careful. And then he jiggles it around a little bit before finally... <laughs> Got it. I can actually see I've no him... I've known for my fast fingers. and Like, that's great, Seiji. Mm -hmm. that's, that's really wonderful. I can, I can actually see him as one who needs, like, massive focus, where, you know, he's got the key in his hand, he's greased up the lock, and he's just staring at it. Staring at... Seiji, you're gonna... Sh sh shut up, dude! Oh, yeah. But are, are you good? Sh shut the fuck up, man! You need concentration! What if it's a combination lock? Oh, it's a piece of paper where it actually has the password. He's like, okay, shh. Hang on. Shh, shh. Uh, you, you gonna, dude? Shh. Do you want this done I or not? I got this. Seventeen. Four. Three. Wait, that's that's an eight. Sorry. Just call me Safe Cracker, cause no safe is safe with me. He tries to open up his locker at school that has no combo lock on it. Just like, does one click, it doesn't open, slams it, and then it just opens. He's like, yeah, watch it, guys. I can open any lock. I had a combination locker you know, when I was in middle school. But because the lockers were so old and shitty, I didn't need to put it in. I just opened it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, 
You know, I never had to deal with people getting into my lockers. Because I never hid anything valuable in there. Uh, wow, all of this was set up so he could actually pick the fucking lock? Like, I was just yeah. kidding that it took him this long, but... <laughs> Why are you sweating so hard? Do you know how to do this? Oh, you, oh, you did it. Good job. Uh, yeah, it wasn't locked at all. <laughs> that would actually be a better conclusion. Oh, um... Is there... Any point in this game where you can hard lock yourself? As in, like, give the wrong tool to advance the story and then be screwed during the boss fight? I don't believe so, no. Because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but... I think Deathmark had one of those. Whoa! What can happen is that you can miss an item that will lead to purification. Gotcha. You can't, you can't progress to the big final fight without the item you need to at least destroy them. But if you're not careful, you could miss the purifying object, which we won't find Hiroshima Woman's until tomorrow, the day after. Hmm. Okay. Now, is it is it like Deathmark, where you have a combination of items and that causes purification, or is it something else? It's not as uh, straightforward as Deathmark's was, where it was literally round one, round two, round three. Here, it's more contextual. Okay. You gotta react on your toes. What's happening right now? What do you need at this moment? Where do you use it? Well, our time our time here is up. The patrols are starting and we gotta get out of here, otherwise you're gonna be in big trouble. Time for crisis mode. Uh oh. Ah! Shit. Hey, wait a minute. That's not a guard. He's dead. Oh, uh, don't worry, that's a guard. Okay. You just can't see his eyes because he has no soul. We could beat him up, but, you know, that really wouldn't help matters much, but we gotta make sure he doesn't see us. That should be first and foremost. Okay, well... What do we do? Uh, Knock him out! Seriously? I mean, throw a rock at him! Yeah, I was about to say. Throw a rock at him, really? I'm gonna throw it at his head. Check it out. Ha! Crack shot! What a shot! Yeah, right. And we need one more rock. Where, where's our perfect aim gonna get it now? Probably just, like, throw it off to the side, right? Uh, at, uh, at, uh... Lamp post! Uh, ooh! Lamp post, yeah! hi -ya! No way I would hit the lamp post, though, if I were doing it. Oh, God, no. My aim is terrible. I miss things right in front of my face. Well, we're awesome in this game! Oh, we just caused a bit of property damage in the park. That's great. Not my problem! Not yet. Yeah, you first. Good. Good. No, you got good. You stepped in some gum. <laughs> and that's the way we get caught, is I can't move. Hey, where's my sidewalk gum? Hey, you there! <laughs> Alright. 
now it's our turn. But guard's pinning us down. Uh, he's the skittish type. Alright, let's go. But first... <laughs> <laughs> you took the oars with you! Yep. We're gonna hide the oars in the bushes so we can oh, come back next time that, and use them to get to the island. That's hilarious. do 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 yeah, I can actually see N double carrying those oars. What could that noise be? Hmm. This is pretty spooky. Uh, who's there? I would love that the guard was also extremely oblivious. Like, wow, really loud bats tonight. Oh, it's just walking oars. Oh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Maybe he is that scared and he just accepts everything as fact. Oh, it's a it's a drowned pregnant woman. I, ah! And he dies. Yes, absolutely. Yes. One one hundred percent. Without question, certainly. Uh, I, I I know that in my heart. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, Broske Hanamura. You look like the type of guy who you would leave to hang dry. This is Yosuke. If he decided to, you know, not be a good friend, and you know, if we never got to him and put him in the Midnight Channel, <laughs> he would turn out to be just a. Uh, he'd start his own family in Inaba. Yeah, I was just thinking. This is what happens if he moved out. This is what he hires, wanted. <laughs> hires Kanji as his lieutenant, and then they just roam the streets of the city, just Dude. breaking everything and stealing shit. Everybody fears him. Maybe that first thug we saw that was uh, that was uh, berating Hazuki was Kanji, like ten years in the future. The Amagi Inn becomes a uh, den of criminals. And a lot of shady shit happens all the time there, but Yukio is kept well employed. <laughs> They have a secret basement now that they can go into. And Chie being the cop she always wanted to be, she now you know, steers the other cops clear. Oh no, she's dirty. She's in on it. Well, that's what I mean. She's, she's just like helping out the family. And then this is Risei in a few years. <laughs> in a cult idol. <laughs> Oh, you know, just drowning in, in the lake. Yeah. It's really lovely, especially when you're feeling it from somebody else's perspective, so you can't move or feel anything. You yeah, know, it's it's really good. I'm doing fine, guys. Thank you for asking. I really wish we could show other people what we saw just so they could like get a feel for things. But then it would just be like photographic memory. What if they held my hand while I did my bloodometry? Maybe they would sense it too? Oh, maybe. No. What? Uh, whoa, it's you! <laughs> As in, like, actual you. Is this your dad? <laughs> nice specs, man. My god, it is me. Got the beard, got the ponytail. Got the nicely dressed. All we're missing is just the mustache and the gray hair. Is this your future self talking to your past self? I'm from the future. I come bearing a message. In a few years, you will create a Let's Play of NG. And while most will enjoy it, you will become ostracized by your peers. Why would I be ostracized by my peers by doing NG? Oh, I don't know. Because of the fucked up shit that'll start happening? Well, you know, if I stop commentating and if I just disappear off the face of the earth, something done gone wrong after NG ended. Oh, and he knows who Seiji Amanome is, so that way he knows what he's capable of. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. 
This is this has turned kind of tense. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'd never considered that. What happens if like son or daughter of the Yakuza is found out to have those connections? Would they immediately started being treated unfairly or stuff like that? Unfairly? Uh, most people would, you know, immediately straight up. It's like, oh, Mo, he's part of the Yakuza. Okay, well, be on your best behavior. You don't want to piss him off. You know, show, show respect. You know, don't make eye contact with him. You know, just leave, just leave him alone. But if you don't give a shit, you'd be like, yeah, hey, Yakuza, yeah, what the fuck ever. Yeah, she's just... Yeah. Hmm. I guess criminal underground is more threatening. Besides, he's a journalist. And, uh, Seiji Yamanomi is an easy target to, uh, make up articles about the Prince of Threats, as they call him. <laughs> this is Bon! As in, I Bon all other forms of journalism. As in, your writing is Bon all! Mr. Bond, do you do games journalism for Kotaku.com? Only if my girlfriend reviews for me. Oh, well. Bro, you're just handed out ten thousands? Come on. Seiji, is that your pimp? <laughs> See, if I don't pay him, he'll start spreading stories about me. But I'm a spirit hunter. We need information to fight the spirits. Wow, there were three P's and that disappeared. Oops. Yeah, like, there's just a couple of small typos that slip through the cracks, but nothing as bad as, say, P-Cube's games. Well, that's the thing. Like, I only noticed that because I focused on Disappeared as I was reading it. So, we'll not a detriment. We'll find a few more as we go on. See if you can find them. Now Masa Bon. You know, I had another thought, and I might need to use your knowledge for this. Sure. Since Yakuza are on the side of crime, how are they not all arrested immediately? Well, either there's no evidence to support that, or they pay their way out so that way they don't have to worry about that stuff. Or they have the cops in their pockets. See, like, I've always wondered how... Or, what they do is they so they say, Oh, you mean that? Yeah, that was this low-ranking member here. Yeah, he's the one who set up the whole thing. Isn't that right? Yes, sir, that's right! I set up the whole thing! See, yeah, he's the guy you want. Well, I'm just thinking, like, you got the Mafia, you got the Yakuza. If, if the police know they exist, why haven't they, like, stormed the castle yet? Or do they need, like, hard evidence in order to convict all of them? Hard evidence would be better, and especially if, if there's, like, you know, politics involved, because the Yakuza, you know, the good the, the good families, at least, have their fingers in a lot of cookie jars. Okay, so there's a good and a bad Yakuza. I mean, on one hand, yes, the Yakuza are involved in a lot of drugs and sex trafficking and, you know, a lot of, you know, prostitution rings and stuff like that. But on the other hand, when the Tohoku earthquakes hit in 2011, they, like, supported a lot of the damaged areas, even with the helicopter that helped civilians. Hmm, so... It's not exactly philanthropy, because they're still it's... profiting off bad shit. Basically, the Yakuza is just another big, uh, su you know, suit-and-tie business where they don't do legal things to make their money. Okay. Sometimes the cops are like, yeah, whatever, they're not fucking hurting nobody. Besides, they got a lot of guns, and I don't want to deal with that shit. So basically, you're acting like Kaudu from Yakuza 2. 
she was a detective who was like, I'm going to put an end to all the Yakuza, and oh, that didn't really turn out so well for her. <laughs> Turns out Kakuya is a member, the top member of the Yakuza, of the of the uh, opposing family. Well, the Tojo clan has really changed their image in recent <laughs> years. Wow, it's no longer suit and tie, it's just long yukata. Oh no, they moed the fucking Yakuza! <laughs> no! <laughs> Yumi! So we haven't seen Kakuya since. No, we haven't finished the game yet. See, uh, the thing about Kakuya is that she only comes in when we're, like, about to go into the fourth quarter. Hmm. She's the ringer. Because the game's the game starts, but things don't get really bad until we're about to face the spirit. So maybe she's helpful. Maybe she's like, hey, I'm taking this thing of yours. Help me get rid of these spirits, and then I'll give you your thing back. Besides, there's one more aspect to Kakuya's game that we haven't really gotten to yet. Hmm... Uh, I think he's gonna make some calls to take care of this Bond person. Can you imagine having that power? Just being like, hey, I don't like your face. Goodbye. Check his Facebook, check his Twitter, check his LinkedIn. Turns out he's a troll. Get rid of him. That means he's got a Reddit. We got him now, boys. <laughs> Quick, call him a fake gamer before you rub him out for good. Now it says here that you call yourself a professional StarCraft player, but here in this thread, you said that you've never played an RTS before in your life. So you are a big fat liar, Steen. Turns out this guy's not actually a ninja. Get rid of him. Wait a second. Ninjas don't know kung fu. You're lying again. Ninjas don't wait a fortnight to take out their target. Get rid of him. So we need to figure out the Urashima woman's source, to figure out the source of her pain, which will in turn be the key to purifying her, or even destroying her. Uh, I, th I think I'm getting it. I I'm slowly piecing it together, but wouldn't that be the greatest twist if the Amanome family was the one who put that bitch in a box and threw her to the bottom of the lake? Oh, you're thinking way too shallowly. It's funny because water... Or maybe Urashima woman was sleeping with another guy, got knocked up because of it, and then the real wife came home and it's just like, bitch, I'll kill you, and didn't find out until, like, months later. See, we're not dealing with, you know, idol anime. We're not dealing with J-dramas. We're dealing with horror. The Japanese have always historically written great horror stories, and this is no exception. So think darker than that. Uh, okay, uh, a kappa came out and, uh, impregnated no, 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 this no, woman no, no, with turtles. No, 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 Darker than that. Fuck, did God himself come down and be like, you deserve to die? You're thinking too fantasy-like. Think, like, darker. Horror. Horror. Oh, she worked at a brothel. Got it. A little darker, but uh, we need to dim the lights a little more. <laughs> okay. Just a little. I'll just wait patiently because I love the pacing of this game. Even though it's a bit talky-talky, I, I do like where we're going. I will say, though, that this is the longest case of the game. Oh, really? Yep. 
they're gonna get progressively shorter as we, uh, well, get better at killing spirits. So we've got about two more parts of this of this case left after after this Holy episode. Holy shit! Now, are they all this long? Yeah, they're all pretty well. <laughs> not all this long. This one's the longest so far. Okay. They're all going to be about an hour long, and that's about a good breaking point in between. But today was exhausting. Running around, seeing ghosts for the first time. It's kind of easing you. See, it's kind of easing you into things. Before it uh, really gets crazy, and oh, that's uh. Okay, things are getting a little crazy as it is. <laughs> it's a slow burn, baby. I think we might have a visitor, though. Ooh, the Orishima woman came to visit. <laughs> she, try she tries to open the door regularly, but just phases through it, leaving all her gunk. Fuck! Oh boy. Fuck! I hate it! Oh boy. I don't like this. I do not like this. <laughs> oh, she's just... She's covered in mud. She just wanted to use my bathroom. Ah, uh, no! I, I mean, no. We're, we're pretty we're pretty intimate right now. I mean, no. we're tied by... We're tied together by Kakuya's game, so, you Stop. know, Mikasa is Sukasa. No! Hey, no! Yeah. Even worse! Yeah, uh, uh I got anti-dandruff shampoo if that's okay. <laughs> no! Oh, you no. could use the fruity body wash if you want. Uh, oh, God. I uh, hate it. Do you need a towel? Uh, I, I have a spare one for you. Uh, I'm coming in. Let me go ahead and put it in here for you. Oh, uh, be sure to use the L'Oreal because you're worth it. Huh? Seiji! Good friend, oh buddy, oh pal. Uh, you know, I'm, I have company right now. Uh, oh, hey. Hey, my aunt's in the bathroom. Why don't you open the door? I have yeah. company. I, I, uh, I have company <laughs> next in, in the bathroom. <laughs> I would love it if all of these hints went straight over his head. And we're gonna we're gonna have some meals later. Uh, it's a uh, watercress soup. Uh, she's very hungry. She's eating for two. You know. <laughs> uh, just, 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 just take all the hints, please. Don't make me say it out loud. Rashima Ule Omenway. Athroom Bay. <laughs> oh nay. All right, uh, we're coming in now, Miss Urashima lady. Uh, please don't be upset. We just want to talk. <laughs> Remember, God. we're we're doing the good ending. We're gonna we're gonna purify oh, you. It's gonna I be fine. This. Don't worry about it. I hate this. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. <clears throat> oh God, tense it up. In we go. Uh. Oh, I fucking knew it. <laughs> oh, I, I guess she left. I guess she what? wasn't comfortable with having two boys in the house. Oh, Ooh. What, 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 you didn't see her phase through the bathroom door and then back out when he walked in? Yeah, what about the mud? You think I just did this, to, you know, because I wanted to? Oh, great. Now we're being haunted Ooh. by the Hiroshima woman. Fantastic. Boy, oh boy. We're getting haunted. Haunted tonight, yeah, we're haunted. Every day and night. Haunted, we're being spooky in here. Urashima woman is very dear. Urashima woman is the one that we fear. She has a voice of an angel. And she's covered in mangel. 
Ew, she's filthy. Don't want to touch that now. Ew. We spent an hour cleaning up the mud. Yeah, gee, but... So she comes in, uses my shower, and messes up the place. Ugh. Well, hey, we were up in her grill touching her fucking strollers and shit. Taking her book and touching all the blood on it. You know, she's like, well, fine, I'll come in and use your bathroom. No, no, then. no, no, no. That so stroller, you like it. That stroller came up to me. All right? I didn't even touch it. I mean, we're basically haunting her realm now. So she's I'm doing the same to us. Coming to get you, ghost. I'm coming to get you. What's happening to me? I always feel like somebody's watching me. Well, next time on NG, we're going to head back into the park. And we're going to get even closer to finishing off the Urashima woman. It's going to take two days to do. Oh, this game's so cool. I wish it didn't take two days, because I kind of want to get this thing rolling, but... It's, it's a slow good. burn. But stay tuned. We'll see you next time.